All right, so you guys probably all recognize this device from my last uh, video about uh, a cheap $40 smartphone from Walmart. Um, this is my Dell Chromebook 7310. This is the 13-inch series. I bought this through work. I um, got a really good deal on it. Um, I kind of wanted a Windows computer on the cheap. So the guys over at coolstar.org have an archive of uh, firmwares and stuff that you can put onto these devices depending on the processor they have. Um, so... I set this up, and this is a legit copy of um, Windows 10. It's a full-blown educational version that I have. I got it from school. Um, I'm gonna start it up here, and I'll show you. You open it up, and it literally kicks right on. Um, it's a custom firmware, from my understanding. You just uh, download and flash it, and basically, there you go. You got a full copy of Windows. It's just like that. This thing is so super quick. Um, the biggest problem is, um, is that storage is not very, uh, friendly on this. Here, I'll pop this open real quick. Um, of course, we're using the standard, um, SSD, uh, M2 SATA SSD that came in this device. So, um, in the next video or so, I'm going to show you how to upgrade it. Um, and, uh, we'll go from there. So anyway... Thanks again for the guys over at Coolstar for putting this firmware package together. I really do appreciate it. It's really cool, um, sponsored, or uh, not sponsored, they're not sponsored. I did this on my own. But um, it's just a shout out to them and their cool firmware that they allowed to put on these devices. Um, my other spot was because I gave my last Windows laptop to my mom because she really needed a laptop because her laptop died. Um, I had another option to take my 2012 MacBook Pro that's been featured on the channel and I was going to um, boot camp that and I'm like well what could I do with this so I did some research it actually was super easy it took me less than two two hours to put this thing together so anyway this is again a quick shout out to coolstar.org for um, putting this archive together for these devices and uh, making something if you you know don't necessarily want um, a Chrome device um, it's actually I find Chrome OS to be helpful, but I just wanted something with a little more oomph and uh, for my price range and stuff, and this actually came across really well. The driver support is actually really good too. Um, this uh, device runs the Intel Core i3 505U, 5005U, um, and it's got Intel HD graphics. I think it's the 5000 series, don't quote me on that. But um, you can all do all the research online. I think it's a Broadwell processor. Um, it is basically a dual core that simulates a quad core. It's got four threads. It's pretty quick, um, especially with that uh, SSD in there. So anyway, guys, I figured I'd give you guys a quick video. Say, hey, I haven't updated my channel in a while. So here you go. Anyway, have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.